For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, I want you to find the resultant couple moment acting on the pipe assembly. This problem is a little different because they give you the magnitudes of the couple moments, of three couple moments, and they give you like where they're aiming. Now, remember, when they give you a magnitude, when they give you a vector, right, they give you a vector magnitude and where it's aiming, what you need to do is you need to find the uni vector and multiply by the magnitude to find the Cartesian vector form of the moment. So for example, let's take this moment right here, m, c, 1. They give you the magnitude which is 450. So the Cartesian vector form is given by that magnitude, m, c, 1, times a univector aiming in that direction. They call, let's call it univector 1. So how do you find this univector? You got to find this vector right here and divided by its magnitude. So let's do it like this. Univector 1 is a, the vector that goes from here to here, this tiny univector right here. So what you need to do is you need to find this point. This point sits at negative 2 in the i plus 2 in the j plus 3.5 in the k. Then, sorry, this is not, this is not univector one this is let's call it point a so univector one is equal to a divided by the magnitude of a because this is a the vector that goes from here to here and uh, you divide it by its magnitude and you get this tiny vector right here so the magnitude of a is given by square root of the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square you plug in these three values into this formula and you get that the magnitude of a is equal to 4.5. When you divide these three values by 4.5, you get the univector, which is negative 0.444 in the i, plus 0.444 in the j, plus 0.778 in the k. And that's univector 1. And the magnitude is given right here. So when you multiply 450 by these three values, you get the Cartesian vector form of the moment, which is negative 200i plus 200j plus 350k. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to repeat the same procedure for the other two. So look at mc2. mc2 is very easy. mc2 is given by the magnitude of mc, which is given at 250, times a univector aiming in the position of 2. So it would be this vector right here. But this univector is aiming straight down. So this univector is very easy. This univector is equal to 0 in the i plus 0 in the j minus 1 in the k. Very easy univector. So when you multiply this by 250, you get that it is equal to 0i plus 0j minus 250k. And the last one is mc3 mc3 is given by the magnitude mc3 times univector 3 which would be a univector aiming in this direction so let's call this point b we gotta find b b sits at 1.5 in the i minus 2 in the j plus 0 in the k we gotta find the magnitude of b which is found with this formula x squared plus y squared plus c squared all square rooted so you use these three values and you plug them into that formula and you get that the magnitude of b is equal to 2.5 when you divide b by its magnitude you get the univector univector 3 let's call it this univector right here and univector 3 comes out to be 0.6 in the i minus 0.8 in the j plus 0 in the k so when you multiply the magnitude of 300 times this univector you get the Cartesian vector form of the third moment which comes out to be minus 20 in the i did I get that right no sorry it's not minus 20 in the i it's 180 in the i 
minus 240 in the j and zero in the k. So this is the third moment, second moment, first moment. Now you have the Cartesian vector form of the three moments. So all you gotta do is add them up. And the sum of the moments cuts out to be minus 20 in the i, minus 40 in the j, plus 100 in the k. Final answer. All you did is add it up mc3 to mc2 to mc1. And you get the sum of the moments. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.